Hey, what's up? This is Judah Friedlander, the world champion, and I am here with Wu Yue, also known as Jennifer Wu. Uh, she is your representative of America for the Rio Olympics 2016. She is on the U.S. Olympic ping pong team. Say hello. Hello. Hi. A lot, I just want to say a lot of people, they think of ping pong as just a game, but ping pong is actually a real sport. It's an Olympic sport. So what are you doing this summer? This summer I'm going to play Olympics. Yeah, she is representing the U.S. for our Olympic team for table tennis. Uh, I'm banned from the Olympics. I, I put too much spin on the ball and it messes with the Earth's rotation, right. so I'm not allowed to play on the Olympics. I mean, stand-up comedy is my main thing, and that's something where you have to be thinking so fast. Like with Jennifer, I can't help you too much with, you know, ping pong skills and strategies, but one thing I do know about is performing under pressure. I do know that, you know, like, when I saw you at the Pan Am Games, you know, there were there probably a thousand people watching, you know, a packed arena, and uh, I could tell she was a little nervous. And then, and then I, I talked to her afterwards, and I said, Pretend it's like, like in stand-up, you can't you can't be worrying about anything. You just gotta you have to not care, and you, and you just gotta do it. And it's the same like when you're in a game, even if it's the biggest game of your life in ping pong, you you have to just play like you're a little kid out there having fun and not worry about anything. So that's what I was telling her was like, just play. You know, don't 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 worry about winning because then when you put your if you're thinking about winning and the pressure, then you're not in the moment. You're not in a zone. You're not in the flow. Yeah, it was pretty cool. She moved here from Beijing. You played professionally in Beijing. Right? Yeah, yeah. in Beijing too. Yeah, and then uh, she came here and learned table tennis from me. And now she made the uh, Olympic team. No, actually, she's been, uh, I've been training with Jennifer off and on since she moved here in, in 2008. And uh, it's been really cool to see her move here, know zero English, learn English and uh, become a citizen, make the team. And sometimes after I would do a ping pong lesson with you, I would help you study for your citizenship test yeah. and English. Yeah. So I remember one time I was quizzing her and I said, I asked you, I go, I'm quizzing her, I'm like, all right, what are the colors in the flag? <laughs> and then she went, she went blue, white, and red. And I'm like, that's correct, but never say it that way. Because I'm like, for whatever reason, in this country, you gotta say red, white, and blue, even though that's technically correct. I also told her, because so many of the answers on the citizenship test are Abraham Lincoln, or George Washington, or FDR, or Eisenhower. So I, I just pulled out money. I pulled out quarters, pennies, dimes. I'm like, oh, yeah. these are your answers. Yeah. Like, it's everywhere, it's on you. It's like, and then if you look at the city, you know, there's the George Washington Bridge, uh, there's the FDR Drive, you know, the, the answers are kind of all around, yeah. you know.